Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. I hope you are doing well. So, today we will study breeding management of sheep and goat. So, uh, breeding methods uh, are two natural mating, uh, where we use buck and ram physically for breeding those or use so this is called sexual intercourse and this is the most common method in sheep and goat artificial insemination where buck or ram is absent we typically we typically get semen from the male and introduced in vagina or uterus of female so this is called artificial insemination uh, this is uh, less common in case of sheep and goat even it is recently introduced in goat in pakistan so what are signs of uh, heat or what uh, what is estrus or heat cycle in sheep and goat the estrus cycle is period from one estrus to the next for doe this period is 21 days and for sheep this is 17 days uh, signs of heat in goat uh, goat would become vocal she will speak a lot she would breathe loudly as if she is in pain Tail wagging is common, uh, she will move her tail here and there, side by side. Uh, swelling and reddening of vulva is also common, you know vulva is outside of uh, reproductive tract. Uh, similarly, you will feel that the area around the tail will be wet and dirty because of vaginal discharge. Her appetite decrease, would decrease, urination would increase and uh, the goat would tend to mount other goats and uh, at the same time she would accept mounting by other animals so uh, more or less same signs in sheep uh, sheep would be nervous or excited when in heat she would be shaking the tail the vulva will appear swollen and reddened and sheep would show reddish behavior which means when she would come across a ram or male, so she will she would seek ram out, uh, rub neck or body against them, etc. So these signs would show that sheep is in heat. Now how to breed? So uh, we keep male and female separate in separate sheds or in separate partitions. Uh, goat typically show heat in March, April and September, October. Uh, sheep uh, are more inclined to come in heat in September and October so a sort of seasonal breeding in case of sheep and goat which is not in case of uh, uh, at least in case of cattle so uh, gestation period or extra duration of pregnancy is 150 days in goat and 152 days in sheep this is approximately five months and how many male and female are required for breeding we need one buck for every 30 does and we need one ram for every 40 ewes so in the case of sheep and goat male when we will leave male in the female herd uh, he would detect automatically which female is in heat and he will tend to breed it and so no need to worry about detection of heat in this case so male will know that which female is in heat he will go to her and breed her so pregnancy diagnosis how we can diagnose pregnancy in uh, uh, sheep and goat so uh, first is non return to estrus after 21 days in goat or 17 days in sheep uh, when the cycle completes if sheep or goat does not uh, come into estrus or heat, we will presume that she is pregnant. And laboratory method is common. We can test milk and plasma progesterone level after 20 days of mating. Similarly, ultrasound examination can be done after 70 days, uh, 70 days after mating, so we can detect pregnancy. So this is uh, all about uh, breeding management of sheep and goat. This was a brief introduction. If you have any detailed question, any issue, uh, you can come to me uh, through usual channels. Thank you very much for your attention.